Guys, you probably heard Halo is doing a live action series and we are going to recreate the energy shield today. Let's do this. By the way guys, you're only going to see me in front of the camera and Timo behind the camera, which you aren't going to see. But anyways, Lorenzo is not feeling that well, so he couldn't make it this week. All right, so, so now what do we do? Well, you aren't going to need a green screen, but we are going to use it because we're going to place ourselves in a more atmospheric background and we can do this in the studio. So we're going to shoot in front of a green screen from a tripod or a dolly, let's say the tripod. And now the only thing you're actually going to need is some tracking marks on your arm. And for this, we're going to use this awesome Pip-Boy from Fallout. Pip-Boy 3000. Part of your life. But it's going to make sure that we have some texture on our arm so we can track that easily. And that's it. That's it. Yes, that's, that's it. You can say that creating shields is one of our specialties. We created a Dune shield, a magical shield from Harry Potter, and even an experimental own creation shield. And the thing they all had in common were storyblock assets. In every project we use Storyblocks, the sponsor for today's video. In their ever-growing library with more than 1 million royalty-free, high-quality stock assets, you can find everything you need for your special effects. Like for example, explosions, muzzle flashes, flying embers, ground cracks, and so much more. Now one effect where we used a lot of assets was our Star Wars using the Force video. With the dust and smoke assets of Storyblocks, we created some stunning floating effects. And because Storyblocks has such a wide variety, we always find something perfect for that particular money shot. They really help us to lift our videos to the next level. Like you can find stock assets in HD to 4K resolution, various After Effects templates which will save you a lot of time, epic music and sound effects to make your visual effects more realistic, and so much more. And to top that off, you can download an endless amount of assets from their library with the unlimited all access plan. Or you can check out the other affordable plans, there is one for every need. If you want to know more about Storyblocks and how to start downloading right away, click the first link in the description below or go straight to storyblocks.com slash Cinecom. Jordy, that's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, we have a Leonardo DiCaprio here in our studio. Give me those Emmys. <laughs> Now it's my time to shine. Pow! Pow! Oh. Cut! Inside After Effects, the first thing we are going to do is create the shield from scratch. We created a new composition, something like 6 by 3K. Then we are going to need a solid layer. Doesn't matter which color. On the solid, we will be adding a fractal noise effect and we played around with the settings until we had this larger cloud-like look. We also animated evolution very little just for some extra motion. Next, add the tint effect and make your fractal bluish. With the ellipse masking tool, we created a perfect big circle and also two smaller ones on the side. The smaller ones we are going to set to subtract, leaving us with the shape. The second step will be creating some line details in the shield, like they have in the new series. Create a new white solid layer and add a Venetian blind effect to it. Play around with the width and the transition completion and then add the polar coordinates effect and max that out. Plus, set the type of conversion to rect to polar. Now that you have lines coming from a central point, add a rough and edges and a turbulent displays effect to our lines. Next, we need to mask out a small part of the lines, but first we need to pre-compose the layer to make the mask work with our current effects. So pre-compose it, change the blending mode to overlay, and create a small feathered mask in the center. Last, we can pre-compose the two solid layers together. We already have a nice looking flat shield. Now let's make it more 3 be like by adding a CC sphere effect. Adjust the radius and the light settings of the CC sphere effect until you have a nice shield like shape. Our shield is almost done, but before we can start with the final details, let's bring in our talent shot. In a normal composition, we placed our shot and above that our shield assets. But let's disable the shield for now. 
then we need to track our talents, our movement. For this, we'll be using the Mocha AE effect. We added that to our original clip and in the effects control panel, press the Mocha logo. This will open up a new pop-up window for Mocha. With the spline pen tool, we are going to draw a shape around the part we want to track. For us, this will be the armband of our talent. Once drawn, we enable the perspective option below and start tracking forward. Of course, intervene when needed. After the tracking is done, hit the show planar button on top and this planar surface we will make the same size as we want our shield to be because it will determine the scale of the shield later on. Now just save everything and close the mocha window. Back inside After Effects in the effects control panel and under the tracking data tab we can create our tracking data. Then on the bottom we can export that tracking data to the wanted clip. Set the export option to corner pin and the layer export to our shield layer. Then just hit apply export and now our shield sticks to our arm. However, if the shield isn't on the right position, we can easily fix that by adjusting the position property. Just relocate it and of course change the blending mode of the shield to hard light. Then let's add a displacement on the shield. Create an adjustment layer in the composition and add a displacement effect to that adjustment layer. The native displacement effects will work great, but we will be using the chromatic displacement effect from Red Giant, just because it looks so good. Now we just use the shield layer as our displacement source and crank up the displacement amount. And now you just have to add some details like a flare, some color grading and BOOM! You are laser proof. Hygienic! Catch! <laughs> Jordy. That's dangerous. <laughs> and that is how you create an awesome energy shield from Halo. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you Storyblocks for the support. And as always, stay creative. Oh yeah, click right here for another awesome visual effect.